Hello again, artists and families. And this week we are going to focus on the theme, artists create what they remember. Many artists get inspired by important memories in their lives. This could be um, something they remember from childhood, um, could be something they remember yesterday, um, or a dream that they've had. Um, any memory that is important to you can be used to create art. Um, another way artists use what they remember to create art is by remembering um, techniques that they've learned. So in my demonstration today, I'm gonna to show you how you can use cardboard and plastic bags to create a weaving. Um, most classes have done at least paper weaving in the younger grades and um, yarn weaving in the older grades in art class. So hopefully you guys remember um, that technique. And once you've learned to weave, you'll find that you can use, create looms and weavings with all sorts of materials that you can find around you. Um, so let's look at some examples and get started. Here's my first attempt at a small weaving made completely from plastic bags. I think my cat liked it too. He definitely liked playing with the plastic bags while I was trying to make this. So your first step is to get a piece of cardboard. It can be any size you want, but the size will determine the size of your finished weaving. This is called a loom. So on my cardboard loom, I have a small square piece here, and then you cut an even number of slots on the top and the bottom. I have six here, but you could easily do eight or 10, um, just whatever size fits the cardboard piece that you are using. The next step is to get your plastic bags ready. So this is what we want our first plastic bag to look like. So as you can see, I cut the handles apart first and then I cut straight down each side. So cutting down the left and the right side, but then I stop at the bottom seam so that I can open up my bag and it looks like this. After you've got your bag cut open, you will then just start cutting long pieces of plastic that look like this. You might have to use several bags, but you can start with one and see how it goes. All right, so we have all of our parts that we need, all of our materials. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to start the weaving. Um, and I'm gonna do that by taking a long piece of my plastic that I have cut and here's my loom ready to go with the cuts that I have made um, and so I'm going to start by taking a piece of this plastic and then just hooking it in that first slot leaving some um, on the back as well okay and then I go down and I push that into the bottom slot that's right across from it okay and then I flip it over to the back and then I make almost like a diagonal line from this slot to the next slot at the top. All right, and then go down to that next slot. Sometimes I kind of twist the plastic as I go. You don't want to pull too much because you don't want to break it, but the plastic is a little stronger than you would think. All right, so I'm running out. So on the back, I'm gonna go ahead and tie my next piece on. You might have to get somebody to help you tie. That is okay, or you could tape it. So either way, whatever works for you. And then, so there. I want all my knots to be on the back too. So there's my next piece and I keep going.
Okay, and there we go. There's our warp threads, and I'm trimming some of these little bows off. Okay, now we're ready to work. So here we are starting to create the weft threads, and we're going to create a pattern. So with my new piece of plastic, I'm going under, over, under, over, under, over the warp threads. And then I pull this piece through, leaving just a little tail there at the end. Then I'm going to loop it back around and go the other way. This time starting under and then over, under, over, under, over, and then you pull that piece all the way through. And I scrunch it together to make sure there's no empty spaces. So then with a little bit of plastic that's left, you're gonna tie on your next piece or tape, whatever's the easiest way to connect them. And I do a double knot. And then you'll just keep going with your pattern. So I ended with over. So this time I'm going to start with under. Under, over, under, over. All the way through. We are ready to take this off of the cardboard. So we flip this over and we'll take our scissors and we'll cut right down the middle, careful not to cut a knot off. Okay, so we'll flip that back over and we're gonna take two pieces here Take these two that are side by side, and then we will tie these into a knot. So one loop and a double knot here. And then I'm going to do that for each one of these. Okay, so here are the five art challenges for this week. Remember, you can pick and choose which ones you'd like to do um, and when you'd like to do them um, and use whatever art supplies you have. Create art about your favorite memory from this school year. I bet your classroom teachers would like to see that too. Create art illustrating a dream that you've had. Create artwork about something that happened yesterday. Create art using a skill that you remember from art class. This includes weaving. Create art about any memory. Your choice. I cannot wait to see all the amazing artwork that you make this week. Remember, you can email me a picture. You can message me on Class Dojo or you can drop a comment right below this video on Facebook if that's where um, you're watching this. Um, my plan, since we didn't get to have our art show this year, um, is to put together a slideshow to create a virtual art show with all the photos that I've taken um, this school year and the photos that you have sent me um, during this time. So um, again, I'd love to see what you're making and if you can share the art artist statement with it too. That would be awesome. I miss you guys and I can't wait till we can be back in that art room together. Bye.